You realize you could have hit present while it yep. was counting down. Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh man. <laughs> should almost leave this in. I think we're going to. <laughs> All right, gang. So we're, we're glad you're here. You don't know the conversation that was going on before this, but it was just. It, it was one of those funny conversations that we just couldn't stop laughing about. So we decided to keep this in the video just because you guys might get a kick out of it. So yeah. anyway, yeah. so this is our introduction to motion maps. And we'll see if we can calm down and actually get through and, the content through today. This. <laughs> So what we're going to talk about as we go through this is this idea of how to represent the way an object is moving um, by, by drawing these maps that show just the position and, and time. Okay. Uh, we're, we need to be able to look at a motion map, describe what's going on based on those patterns, and recognize like, hey, there's a change in motion yep. if it's going faster, if it's going mm -hmm. slower, and how you can determine that just from looking at this motion map. Okay. Exactly. Sounds good. All right, so this is... I don't know how to... Like, John Bernard, Borican? Borican? I got John down. I knew that one. He's, but the, it's actually a pretty cool story because he was this track and field athlete. Okay. But he also loved to take pictures. So he found, figured out this way to kind of take these kind of like strobe light kind photos. of picture photos. So this is an example of him going over, over hurdle. hurdles. Got really good form. Might, might need to work on his lead leg a little bit, but that's... We're not going to get into that right we now. We won't get into that. But you can see, oh, whoop, I mean. hang on. So you can see as we go through here, you can see it's these pictures are taken over yeah. a series of time. And that's why it mm -hmm. looks like he's doing something different in each one. It's because the time is different for each one. There's right. a specific amount of time between each photo being taken. And that's why it looks the way it does. And that's why it looks so awesome. There you go. So here's another one. I'm not a golfer at all. I, a lo golfer. I love playing golf. Okay. So this is Bobby Jones. I have no idea who Bobby Jones is. Supposedly. Famous golfer, and okay. he was known for having the perfect golf swing, as you can see. But, like, this looks really weird because it looks like there's a bunch of different clubs. It's uh -huh. not, you guys. There's just one club that happens to be moving, and they're taking pictures every, like, tenth of a second yeah. or quarter of a second. So that's why it looks like there's a lot of different golf clubs, but it's really just one golf club following a path of motion. So you can see... Normally, when you start your golf swing, you start on your way back up, and you can see up here how it's kind of slow. How do I know it's slow, though, Mr. Spencer? Well, I mean, so we think about this. I'm guessing that when they took, when the camera took the picture, it took about like even intervals. So like, even like intervals. what you were saying, like every tenth of a second or, or whatever that happens to be. Well, if they're if they're taking all these pictures where the time is the same, is the same. Well, how far does it move between pictures? Okay. Well, if we look over here at number one, what do we notice about all It looks of like these? all these clubs are really, really close together. Yeah. So that would maybe say they're not moving that fast. Right. So they're, yeah. So during that time segment, they haven't gone very far. So that's why it looks like they're right, right on top of each other. But then you go down here at the... To number two, uh -huh, where they're so in they're their downswing, down. as you can see, as they're coming this way, it looks like he's getting faster and faster and faster. How do I know that? Well, look at the distance between... Between these keeps increasing as we keep going well then as we get up here notice they're starting to get what closer oh, yeah. together again so it looks like these slowing back down mm -hmm. so the question is is where does the golf club moving the fastest I hope everybody would agree is at point two down there at yeah, the bottom gotta be at two because that's where it traveled the greatest this distance. distance in that set interval of time exactly very good good job Bobby in the perfect golf swing Okay, so this is another thing. This is where we got the, well, you guys didn't, but we got some Hot Wheels out and we took some pictures of it. And, I love playing with Hot Wheels. And I know, aren't they great? They're fun. So these little blurs, those are Like the Hot Wheels are, going like, down. by. Yep. Zoom! <laughs> you like shook the table when you did that. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're going, su if you're a Hot Wheel and you're going super fast... And it's the same amount of time between pictures. So hence why each green dot that we have here, circle, is a specific amount of time. So that's one second every single time. So mm -hmm. notice there's a large distance between the two, hence why it's going faster. Mm -hmm. We come down here to the medium, notice every one second it's being done. Now we have a fourth circle because it's going not as fast. Mm -hmm. We come down here at the bottom, notice we have six because it's going slower. And each second, the car isn't going as far, right. so hence why there are more circles on there. There we go. 
So, yeah, here's another example vroom, where vroom. we've got <laughs> cars. So up at, t- up at the top, we see that those dots that represent the car, okay, those are, those are evenly spaced and, and close together. So, so you're talking about these cars up here at the top. Those, yeah. Okay, so they're, they're like the same distance apart from each other. So when we go down here to make our motion map, this is a motion map, mm-hmm. you guys. So it still looks like, okay, these are all the same distance and they're going the same speed. Okay, yeah, yeah so that makes sense. Okay, but there on the bottom, you'll notice that the, the, the dots are farther apart. Because, and if you notice also, then the cars are also further apart. Mm-hmm. So these dots down here match with each car that is above it. Okay, there you go. that looks good. Well, what's happening here? They're gonna run into something. That's, it's not gonna be good. Then you're gonna have to call the fire department. I'm gonna have to go pull them out. Yeah, that's not fun. Going the wrong way. Okay, so can we go back to the previous slide? Yeah, so notice you guys here on our motion map, notice we're going, look at this way. This Our arrow is pointing to the right, means it's going towards the right or away from our origin. Mm-hmm. Okay, in the next slide though, notice which way are they going our motion our origin is still down here because it's going in this direction it's, everything's going to the right or to the east well these cars are going to be nimcompoops and they're going to go to the west against traffic they're going the wrong way on a one-way street yep so that's why these are going towards the origin so it does matter so sometimes you can be moving mm-hmm. away from the origin and what's the origin so the origin is just kind of where you have decided hey this is our zero point that's where a we're lot s- of, are starting well sometimes sometimes are starting sometimes point. because like let's say here like let's say right over here that this was our origin mm-hmm. like, there's nothing special about it we just said, said hey this is, is the origin the- but you'll notice that our car our car actually doesn't start there right it starts away from it but it's going towards it towards the origin so the origin is where kind of our our measuring Mm -hmm. starts not where the car actually starts right Ah. so if if we're thinking math on a on a a graph yep okay x y coordinates and stuff like that origin is just that zero 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 zero. um so you could start at the origin Mm -hmm. but just because you start someplace doesn't necessarily mean mean it has to be at zero zero very good all right so this is how we draw motion maps you guys okay so we're going to draw dots to represent the position of the object at equal time intervals okay so all you're going to be doing is putting dots on a graph so it might be every second every two Two seconds seconds, three seconds but but they're equal this the time that passes is the same each time Okay, now this is the most important thing here. People mess this up all the time. This first dot that you see always represents zero seconds. Okay, because a lot of times you'll be reading these and you'll say, oh, that's one second. Because that's the first one. No. Nope. Zero. Okay, then (laughs) Mr. Conrad likes to dramatize things and Mr. Spencer... Yeah. <laughs> anyway, attach arrows to the dots to indicate the direction of the motion. So notice if we look back at the, all the other ones, we don't need to, but we always had an arrow telling us which way our object was going. Okay. And then make the arrow half the length of the space between dots. So if you're only going one, the arrow should only go to a half. Yeah. If it's going a distance of two meters, then it should be one meter long. Uh, and then when an object is stopped for several time intervals, you just stack the dots on top of them. And we'll yeah. show you an example of that. Yep. All right. So here's our first motion map. Okay. Right. And Go ahead. So, so when we do this, we want to think of, okay, remember what Mr. Conrad talked about. That first dot represents where you are at at zero seconds, at the start. Now, in this case, it happens to be at it's, the origin. Doesn't necessarily need to, but it, but it can. Now... So if we look at our, what, what is this called, Mr.? This is a data table. A data table. So we're taking a look at our data table. And this, guys, we're going to give you data tables, and you're going to have to make this motion map. Yep. Or I'm going to give you a motion map with all the dots on it, and you're going to have to create the data. We've got to yeah. kind of work backwards. So zero seconds, that's my first dot. Hence why mm-hmm. there's a zero there. And I have that. And now Mr. Spencer's just adding them on. And so one second, we go to two meters, Mm -hmm. two seconds, we put a dot at four, three seconds, we put a dot at six, four, a dot at eight meters, five, and a dot at At 10. And then notice, we went two meters, and notice, Mr. Spencer made the arrows only so they went one meter each time, okay, because it goes half that distance. Now, I do have a question, Mr. Spencer. 
why on earth is there a plus two there? Because clearly we're going that way. Yes. So why put a plus so two? This is, so in the physics world, direction matters. Okay. So we're gonna. this is going to be really similar to math where somebody along the way decided, hey, if you're going to the right, we're going to say that's positive. Ah, or if you're going good. up, we're going to say that's, that's positive. positive. If you're going to the left, then that would be a negative. negative. Or you're going down, that's a negative. So some smart person along the way decided that, and we all decided to follow along. Sounds good. All right, so here's the next one. So now, the first time, the previous slide, we were just going at a slow, constant speed. Now this time we're going at a fast. So okay, so wait, 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 wait. Okay, we're going to so wait. We, so look at the, at the first one. Okay? Copy that. Okay, why do we know that it's going at a constant speed? Well, we were talking about it earlier with Bobby Jones' uh, golf swing because mm -hmm. they were the same amount of time, uh -huh. but then the same. They're also the same distance apart. Gotcha. That's how we know that it's going at a constant rate. Because notice this is this is at two meters. Uh -huh. This is at two meters. It didn't jump to three. Right. So they're all the same distance apart from each other. That's why we know it's going at a constant rate of speed. So if you cover the same distance and every single same, time, that's going to be a constant. constant speed. Now, why would we say, so we got the constant part. Why would we say that it's going at a slow speed? Well, well, that is a good question. Yeah. So why do we know it's going slow? I'm like, well, let's be honest. If two meters a second, that's actually not super slow, that's, but it's not really, really yeah. fast. Like if you're comparing a snail to a car, yeah, that's going really slow. So, and again, it's slow because they're not as far apart from each okay. other. So if the dots are going to be closer together, like one meter or two meters, if you were going five meters per second, or our next one was at five, you would notice there's going to be a right. larger, larger gap between uh -huh. our dots. So on the second one, with a fast constant away from the origin, okay, if it's going away, it's going towards the to the right. Mm -hmm. um, if it's constant, that means they're going to be the same the distance, distance apart. Every single time. But if it's fast. That means they're going to be farther apart. Farther apart. Okay, so that would be what we would expect. Yep, so this just keeps going on. So notice they keep getting, they're the same distance because it's a constant, mm -hmm. but they are farther apart than what we were, that we did up here with our gray circles, yep. okay? So that's why we said it was a fast constant versus a slow constant. And again, the direction matters. So mm -hmm. notice it's always going away from the origin for these ones. So if we were having our data table, if you guys are making a data table for this, you would put plus three because this one is at three meters, mm -hmm. and then the two would be at plus six, plus 9, plus 12, plus 15. So now this third one, the slow constant towards the origin, all the lights are going out. This happens sometimes. We have to get up and act like crazy people. Okay, we're back. All right, so the third one, slow constant towards the origin, well, that's the same as the first one, except... And this time it's going to go in the other direction. But wait, if it's going towards the origin, where is it going to start? Well, it's got to start away from the origin. It's but the start... origin's where we start. No, the origin is not where we start, Mr. Conrad. Sometimes we start at the origin. That's but just right. Just because I you forgot. start there does not mean it's the origin. All right? I forgot. The My bad. Okay. So, oh, ah. there we go. So we're starting somewhere over here, and now you notice that it's going It's towards going towards the origin, the origin, but it didn't start there because yeah. our zero, so if this was a data table, this zero would have 15 at next to it. There you go. Ah. At zero seconds, we're at... We're 15 at meters. meters. So we're not actually starting at the origin. We're just starting at 15 yeah. meters, and we're going toward... So we would see something similar with the fast constant. Yep. Same, uh, same thing. Concept is just there that now they're just further apart, but they're also going towards the origin or going to run into a brick wall. There we go. And we, so we think Whoa. about this. Oh, so what if you got speeding up, okay? Whoa. You're starting out slow and then getting faster and faster and faster. Okay, so that's not constant, okay? No. Because every every time you go, you're... They're you're the getting... same distance apart, whereas in this example here, like in the previous one, everything was just the same. But this is further away. This two second is mm -hmm. further away from one than one was from zero. And three looks to be further away from two than two is from one. Mm -hmm. And obviously four is a lot further yeah. away from three. So you can tell this is speeding up because the 
uh, our dots are further and further apart from each other. And again, each dot represents just one second. So yep. that's we're how we know it's speeding up. So if you're slowing down, then you're going fast and you're getting slower. So, so they should you should have start they should be further apart at the beginning uh -huh. and then towards the end they should be closer together. Let's see if that happens. Oh, it it did! Yay! All right. Okay, but what if you're not moving? Oh crap. What if Wait, you if you're not moving mm -hmm. and you keep dropping something or that object is staying there, won't it just be at the same spot every single time? Same spot the so, whole time. Look at that. So if it's staying still, it's not moving. Notice all of our circles are right on top of each other. Now, this is something you need to do. Take note is that the zero is at the very bottom. And then you put one second on top of it, two seconds on top of that, and three seconds on top of that. You don't yeah. want to put zero at the top. Zero goes at the bottom. Yes. All right. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. Don't worry about this motion shot app, but we want you to... In your at, at the end of these notes, we want you to draw four pictures. We want you to draw one motion map that's showing a slow, constant speed. Mm -hmm. Okay, we want you to draw one that's a fast, constant speed, one that's slowing up and slowing down. Now, again, you notice... You said slowing up. I did say slowing up. Ah! I had to make it funny. Sorry. It's okay. Uh, so we want you guys now, notice we didn't say it had to be going away from the origin or toward the origin, so you can choose that, but that's what we would mm -hmm. like you to do. Okay. All right. I think we made them dangerous. Possibly. Possibly. All right. Let us know have if a you good have day, any guys. questions.